As a designer, you need to spend a lot of time explaining your design decisions. Just talking about design without visual aid is monotone and potentially confusing for everybody. It's always better to describe your design by actually showing the design. In most cases, if you open Figma as a visual aid, people still might feel confused because they don't really see the big picture you see and who knows, maybe your Figma project is messy and hard to follow. God knows, been there, done that. There is a better way to showcase your work and vision. Presentations. I bet I got some raw eyes on the mention of presentations, but it doesn't have to be boring. Yes, working with Google Slides or Keynote is tedious. However, there is an app that makes working on presentations quite enjoyable. So have you ever heard of Pitch? Yes, Pitch is a Google Slides killer and it changed my view on presentations. Pitch can be used in a browser or as a desktop app. So let's open it up and check how it works. So we are in Pitch uh, browser version. I have some other stuff opened in desktop, so this will do quite nicely. So as you can see, you have your dashboard, some private folders, some shared stuff, and then you can have your workspaces if you want to be a little bit more organized. So let's start with creating new presentation. As you can see, you can have your team templates over here, which is super great because designers can make templates and you don't have to share them with uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or some other tool and get lost in Slack with all these versions. You, you can have everything right here. But anyway, let's look at this uh, template gallery. As you can see, you have some basic ones to start with, but then you have tons of really nice, nicely designed uh, templates for every possible occasion you can think of. So let's start with, hmm, let's see, maybe, maybe something fun. What do you think? Maybe team meeting. Great presentation. Great. And over here you can maximize or minimize uh, this kind of browser for different designs of this template. So we can add this one, great team meeting. Then we can add some intro over here. Then what else? Let's go. Great, three slides. So if we go from top, let's see what pitch offers. So first is you can um, put different textiles, pretty basic. This is super cool feature. You can browse Unsplash, Giphy, Iconate, brand logos, and you can even just upload your own image. But this is quite useful because we all put a lot of images in our presentations. Then some, you know, basic elements to, um, I don't know what would you use this for, but anyway, basic elements always come handy. Then stickers. This is my favorite part of Pitch. Um, I love these chubby hands and you can, for example, put it over here resize. I mean, it's, it looks pretty, pretty cool. And without uh, zero effort, without any effort, actually, uh, your slides become so much nicer uh, visually. Stop talking. I mean, they have really funny ones. This is really nice. And then this is uh, excellent for those peeps uh, who do a lot of reports. I mean, you can import CSV, something from Google Sheets or even Google Analytics and just drop your chart over here without too much hassle. It's super easy and mind blowing. You can make a manual table over here and also you can embed some YouTube, uh, some Vimeo and some Loom, which is super nice. And then over here, this button is actually um, like some sort of commander. So if I press command K, I will do the same. It's pretty basic and standard to um, like modern apps, but it's super handy if you are like power user and just want to move fast through your slides. Um, then you can share, of course, you can make it publicly accessible. You can even embed somewhere. And then we come to the fun part, design. So you can customize everything uh, based on your wishes or team guidelines. Also quite a basic tool, but it's nice uh, to have it here. And then cool stuff about pages. I can make, let's say different status for different slide. And then I can also 
assign different uh, slides to different persons so you can actually follow progress. Then some comments. Um, I have to say commenting system is a little bit bare bones at the moment, but it serves the purpose, purpose I guess. You can put some reactions, I see no purpose with that, but okay. And then you can have your notes for yourself. This is basically it. Maybe one more thing, you can create like new styles for the same presentation. So designers rejoice. As a little bonus, I have one idea for you. So designers use all kinds of apps to showcase their work. So Peach could be a new way you can use to make your portfolio. A free account will have a banner on top, so I suggest paying $8 if you don't know how to code and make a portfolio for free. I think it's a great investment. So let's check Pitch again to see how you can use it to make your portfolio. So we are back in Pitch. So I will open this one. This is just a template from Template Gallery. And as you can see, uh, there are like multiple people in this uh, presentation, actually. It's uh, my clone. So I will open in another browser uh, the same file. As you can see, I'm moving in another browser and in real time I can see what's happening. I can even change something. Let's say I'll put my name here. And then you see it real time. It's like Figma. You can basically collaborate just by, you know, having a voice call and not even, you don't have to even talk with people. You can just see what everybody is looking, uh, uh, just by looking at screen. So it's super nice. And uh, I just wanted to show you this collaboration. And also uh, this is portfolio uh, template, which you can use from temp template gallery. And you have a lot of different things you can put over here if you want to showcase like a project or whatever. And this is a cool way of making presentation because you can then share it. You can even uh, hook this uh, awfully long link over here uh, to your domain and, th and then you have it. Um, like I mentioned, eight bucks for removing the top banner. And what's also good, you can't really select while presenting uh, like different text, but links work. So if you want to link to some website or whatever, you can, you can actually do that. If you like this video, please give it thumbs up and also subscribe button is somewhere down there. I'm also available on Superpeer. It's a video platform for one-on-one -on -one video chats. It's actually excellent for mentoring. My prices are quite affordable and I'm willing to discuss with everyone who needs help. So check the link in the description. That would be all for today. Have a good one. Ciao.